Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. And I'm gonna show you around the 2020 New Camp Avia. This is the ultimate in luxury and style. It is gorgeous inside and out, and uh, it's about 21 foot two inches long on the box. The total length, including the tongue, 28 feet. It weighs 5,200 pounds. It, there is no slide, but it is so spacious on the inside. They've done some really interesting things inside that you may never have seen before. So if this is a trailer that might work for you, stay tuned. We're heading inside. In the meantime, remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. That way you get to see all the new walkthroughs that come out. All right, well, let's go inside and get started. All right, everybody, this trailer is gorgeous. Let's start right up here in the front. You've got this large U-shaped dinette. W look at these windows. You've got the big windows on the side, a nice window on the front, and then a skylight. So while you're sitting in this dinette, you are completely surrounded by the outdoors. It's lovely. And every one of these windows is dual paned and opens up. Right now you can see they have the screens on them, but every window also has a privacy panel. So you can see that that gives, makes it completely closed and gives you the blackout shades on every window here. In the meantime, you can sit and enjoy the outdoors. You can also just open up this screen and pull it straight up and you've got beautiful windows all the way around just gorgeous. I don't think I can properly explain what it feels like sitting here. The seats are leather, so they're very comfortable. Um, I love the way they move around the sides. You've got enough room for probably four adults to sit here extremely comfortably. It does go down and make into a bed. And the way you do that is you look at the handles underneath. When you pull this handle right here, and push down from the top. Then these cushions fold in, making a nice bed in the front. You can also raise it partially so that it's about halfway up and down. So this telescoping table makes it so easy. Nothing to pull apart, reposition. Very easy to set into a bed or even just lower the table a little bit if that works for you. The other thing that's so great about this table is that there's a switch right under here that allows it to lock into place, but you can move it front and back and really in any position that works for you. You can actually push it away from you to get in, scoot around, and then pull it back to the place that works. The switch right here underneath locks it into place and you have a sturdy table again. I love that feature. Now, not only can you move this table in all four directions, but there is a button under here that if you pull it down, then you can actually rotate the table as well. I just don't think there's any way this table can't be positioned. So whatever works for you, you can certainly set up your table that way. I love that. So the cabinets on both sides of the dinette, with that Euro styling, they're so simple to open as are all the cabinets in this unit. You give it a push right here, everything opens up. Lots of space in there. The lighting comes down from underneath, the indirect lighting. Just close it up, give it a push, locks right back into place. Up front, you can see there's speakers on both sides and then the 110 outlets on both sides too with the USB ports. There is a slight ledge up front Great for cell phones, any type of little gadgets that you'd need to set up there and plug in. 
You could certainly put fans, just about anything that you wanted to plug in would fit right up there on that ledge. The reading lights at the top are the classic reading lights where with one push they turn blue and with a second push, if you hold it another second or two, they're white. So you can really control the ambiance of the recess lighting up here, the overhead lighting, and the reading lights. All right, as you walk in the door, there's a panel right here. Now this top switch is gonna control the lighting that is underneath the body of the trailer. So it actually lights up the step and behind the wheel well, so you see a great path when you're walking next to your trailer at night. Underneath that is the controls for the solar panel. This is standard with a 210 watt solar panel. Awesome. Below that, the on off switch for the power awning and the in out. So all power awnings are going to have a switch that just turns the power on and off on them. And then the switch that allows them to go out and come in. So you've got full control right here. The other panel of switches is on the other side of the door. And you notice you've got the smoke detector at the top and then all of the switches are lit up in blue. It is a touch panel. So there isn't a rocker switch here. You just touch the light uh, and this top one says all lights off. So what that does is when you're walking out of your trailer, if you want all the lights to turn off, you don't have to go around and hit 18 switches. You just hit that top one, everything goes dark. So easy. What a great idea. The second one turns off all this blue backlighting on it. If you're sitting in the dinette in the evening, you may not want to look at all this blue backlighting right here. So that turns off the light. Another great idea. How many times have people put a little piece of tape over a light that they didn't want to look at? The next two are going to be the dinette accent light and the dinette ceiling light. So pushing those, you're going to see a difference in the lighting. That is the recess lighting in this area. And the second one is going to be the ceiling lights right above us. So you can actually set the lighting to be whatever works for you at the time. The water pump is here, the 12 volt control for the refrigerator, uh, the under the cabinet lights, let me show you that. So the round lights that are right here under the cabinets lighting up the countertop. Those are great work lights when you're in the kitchen. So I love to have them there, but you may not want them all the time. And the bottom one is the light on the awning outside. All those lights are right here. Do you see if I turn off that backlighting? I can't see any of that blue light there. That's great. Next to it, this is the monitor panel. Again, a touch screen for the fresh, the gray, and the black tank. This trailer has a 43 gallon fresh tank. It has a 39 gray and a 41 black tank. Plenty of tank space. So all that is visible right here at the top. In about 30 seconds to a minute, that's going to cut off and go black again until you touch it. Underneath, this controls the Aldi system, which the Aldi is going to be not only your water heater, but it also is your radiant heat. And the switches in here tell you how to set that for one or both of those, depending on what you need. Let's look under here on the side of this lower cabinet. This is so exciting. There is a plastic cover. It's actually more of a rubber piece and it's there to protect you from bumping up against it because guess what? Once again, this is a touch screen. This is your fusion stereo and I'm going to turn it on for you. It is a touch screen panel. Uh, it is the Apollo series, and we have talked about this before in our podcast, RV Small Talk, um, but it is one of the best systems out there. You do have the subwoofer underneath this dinette, 
great speakers in the front, great speakers in the back, and two outside, but it's a lot more than just a stereo. So you've got Wi-Fi connections on here, Bluetooth, and it can all be controlled from an app on your phone. Really, there's so much this can do. Look up this Apollo series and read all about it. It is got so many features. You will love having this. Now, while we're talking about all the controls around the entry door, let's talk about the door itself. This is the classic New Camp door. It is one molded piece here. So you've got all kinds of cubbies here to put things in. I love the tall window here. So you can actually see outside, see who's standing right there at your door. And when you don't need to do that, you have a full blackout shade. Um, the handle is a little bit different, but very easy to lock and unlock. And a bin at the bottom. I've seen that used for so many different things, maybe plastic bags that you might use to pack up your food or a trash can, just about anything that works for you. And they connect the fire extinguisher right there as well. The other thing so great about this system is you don't have those two screen door door to connect and disconnect and uh, all of that because this screen is actually built into the side of the trailer. If you wanted to leave your door open and have a screen, you just pull this across, clip it in, you've got a nice screen. All right, let's keep moving. All right, now this galley, it's not only functional, but it is beautiful. Of course, I always talk about the lighting first. Uh, you've got the down lights right here so you can see everything you're doing. You also have a down light on your fan. This is gonna be the vent fan right here has the, the fan that's gonna pull any uh, cooking smells or steam out, and then of course the light, so it's very lit on this countertop. Indirect lighting at the top, and it's backlit behind this panel. Just gorgeous. You do have a window here. Of course, it's gonna be the double-paned window like everything else, so it's gonna open up. You can get fresh air, pull down the screen, or have the privacy panel up so it's completely blocked. The sink on the right hand side, it's square, takes up the full corner of the counter. It, it's about, I would say, six inches deep altogether. Um, but with the high faucet, you can get a lot of things under here. The gray tone countertop is just, I just love the classy, clean look. Next to that, incorporated in this piece, is the three burner glass top stove with the knobs on the left. So you've got front counter space right here in front of it. Drops back down and of course, if you're not using the stove, this is all very easily used as counter space. A little more counter space on the left and then the air controls for the Air 8 air conditioner. Now remember I told you this unit does have the Air 8. Um, it is under the bench seating in the front, but in the future, you may see the obvious with just a roof air. Now it's a 15,000 BTU roof air, works great, and it's gonna cover this coach front to back. Okay, so next let's take a look at the storage right here. Got the Euro cabinets at the top. Open up right here. Shelf in the middle, and that shelf is adjustable. You've got some notches, so it can go up and down. This other side over here. Now you notice I'm pushing them on both sides. You can usually open these by just pushing them on one side. I just like to be sure I get them open um, easily, and two sides make sure they both unclick. So you've got shelves here that are adjustable, or you could take the shelves out if that worked better for you. Slide right back down, just give it a quick close, and they're locked in, open, locked in. Very simple to work with. The drawer catches are a little different than maybe you've seen before as well. Uh, there is a little catch underneath the handle, so simple to use. You just push that up with your finger, and the drawer opens. You've got two drawers right here, and they are very deep. I would say these are probably seven or eight inches deep. And the soft close. Another drawer right here.
Now this drawer is very short. Obviously you've got plumbing behind the sink, but it pulls out probably eight inches. You know, you never can have too many drawers, so you take every bit of space you can, right? Under here, you've got a more full-size drawer. It takes up the entire length. In the back, this space right here is a great pull-out pantry for canned goods. Three shelves on it. It just is effortless to work these drawers. Let's take a look underneath at this cabinet because it looks like this is a drawer, but it's actually not. This piece right here folds down and this is the plumbing for the Aldi heater, uh, the air conditioner venting. And you'll notice you've got some wire and plumbing down here. Uh, the water hoses and the hot and cold lines have some valves on them that you would use for winterizing your low point drains. This valve right here is actually the adjustment for the temperature on your water heater in your Aldi system. So be sure that if you get your new Avia that you understand how that works. The dealership should set it for you, but uh, that is how you can make the temperature hotter and colder. Now, while we're down here, let's take a look. We've got vents all along the floor. That is your radiant heat coming in. And underneath the dinette, you've got the LP detector and the carbon monoxide detector. And in the front of the dinette, you can see that there's a big speaker and that is your subwoofer. When we move to the other side, you're gonna be able to see the switch that turns that off because you may not want to have that subwoofer working if you're sitting in the dinette. If you're relaxing in the bedroom, it may be awesome. You have a great sound system in this trailer. Let's take a look on this other side. Now across from the galley is this nice cabinet and it's got a big countertop that you can use for anything that you need. 28 inch flat screen TV above it with a 110 plug and of course charging stations here with USBs. So really very versatile depending on what you need. I love the countertop lighting, lights it up really well at night. A window that opens just like the rest of them. The cabinet on the top, it has the uh, shelf in the middle. Again, it is adjustable and two shelves here, or you could take it out, just have one. Another great storage space, easy to close up. Let's look underneath. This looks like a beautiful cabinet but it actually has the contour microwave. Now this isn't just any microwave. This is a microwave, a convection oven, and a smart air fryer. So I'm not sure there's anything you can't do with this microwave. It's really so versatile. You do have storage on the left. It's a real tall, deep storage, maybe great for trays, uh, some different things that you could put in there. Uh, there is a switch at the top. Now this switch actually turns off the subwoofer that's underneath the dinette. There are times when you might not want that uh, actually underneath that seat. It might be a little much for you. And so you can always turn that off right here in this cabinet. You'll also notice in the very back, there is a, a tube coming up that's actually clipped to the wall. Now this is something that you'll see throughout the trailer. There is, uh, I believe, six or seven of these, and they are uh, drains basically for the Aldi system. So if you happen to get air bubbles in it or a piece of it maybe isn't working well or you needed to drain the system, that's available to you. They try to make everything so simple. All right, an extra cubby underneath. So some extra storage in here with this amazing microwave, all hidden in these beautiful Euro-style cabinets. Behind here, another large cabinet. You can put hanging clothes in it. It's got a rod in the top, but of course, any good RVer knows you can put shelves in here or set it up really any way that works for you. There is uh, an actual compartment lid at the bottom 
but that is not storage, that is simply access. When they build this, they try to make access very easy for any area that might need some maintenance in the future. So that's what you're seeing down there at the bottom. Great storage space. Let's look on this side at the refrigerator. It is a three-way. Now the top piece here is your refrigerator section. And down below, there's a pull-out drawer. Now this is what they call a crisper. I like this because it gives you a way to keep your food separate. Maybe you have a lot of fruits and vegetables. Maybe you just have drinks that you wanna access. Anyway, two separate doors right there and another pull-out pantry. Lots of food storage in this trailer. Just slides right in, gets out of your way. So I hope this gives you a good idea of the kitchen space in here, the storage. Of course, if there's something that you didn't see or that you have a question about, just let us know. We'll be glad to tell you more about the galley in this Avia. Now let's go in and look at the unusual things they have done with the toilet and shower area. Now the bathroom setup in the Avia is very unique. You actually walk between the toilet and the shower compartment, but if you wanted to close off the bedroom and the bathroom, you have some pocket doors right here that close and actually clip together right there so that you can actually close off the entire area. All right, when you open them up, they just go right back into the pocket and out of the way. They're actually magneted open, so they're not gonna be rolling around and you don't have all those clips to deal with. I love that part of it. Now you'll notice there's another handle right here because as you get a little closer, you'll see the toilet area is very small. This is meant to come around right here and close up to close off the bathroom, but there's really not enough room in there. So this entire piece pulls out from the wall and comes all the way out. That way there's plenty of space in there when you need it, and when you don't need it, you simply push it back out of the way. What a great feature. This opens up right here, and let's talk about what's actually in this compartment. The porcelain toilet gives you the quality, residential feel that a nice RV always is looking for. Toilet paper holder on the left, I love the glass holders right here, and you've got a soap holder on the right. That is all built in because your sink actually folds out right there. The faucet folds down, and you have a single handle to operate it. The mirror is a three-piece because it gives you a shelf here to put some of your uh, bathroom items that you might want to use, but you've also got storage on both sides. Once you stop at your campground, you can set this up so you have a very workable bathroom area in a very small space. I love the style. The little vent at the top that opens up and of course a skylight to give people a little more headroom. Now we haven't talked about how tall this trailer is uh, as far as headroom goes. This trailer is 76 inches tall. So you're six foot four to the top of the ceiling. You do have a curve in the front, but that's where you're seated. Uh, in the back, it is six foot four all the way back. All right, let's move over to this side and take a look at the shower. The shower is built in. It actually has a wand that clips in that you can adjust the height of it to be whatever works for you. The corner trays have a, have a little uh, holder on the front so that you can not only attach things in the slots, but you can put your shampoo or something behind that and it won't fall out. The controls on the left, it is a single handle control and your light is right here on the front. Again, 
You've got a vent that opens on this side and the skylight. Just step into the shower, pull the compartment closed around you. And you've got plenty of space in there. How ingenious to do a shower on one side, the toilet sink area in such a small space, but have it open up so that you actually have all the space you need when you need it. And when you don't, you've got a nice aisle way. Now for the best part, let's take a look in the bedroom. So the first thing you're gonna notice this bed actually tips up or lays flat. It is electric. It's so easy, you just push the button and you can raise the head of the bed to whatever level suits you and then of course lower it down. You know, so many homes have those systems. I guess New Camp thought we might want that in a luxury trailer as well. The lighting in this area is uh, as amazing as it is in the rest of the unit. You've got recessed lighting all the way around, reading lights in the front, and overhead lighting above the bed. The overhead lighting is recessed in this nice console with the power fan. That fantastic fan is going to create a breeze in here if you just need that air moving. Most people really like a little moving air when they're sleeping, and especially if it's a cool night and you're not going to run the air conditioner. The windows in this, two large windows on both sides and a window all across the back with speakers on both sides. Just beautiful. I mean, they took everything you would want, the windows, the music, the styling, the Euro cabinets, the recessed lighting, adjustable bed. I just, I, they thought of everything in here. I just love this. All right, let's take a look at the storage. That's always important, isn't it? Up here, you've got the Euro cabinet. Give it a push on the corners. And these are both fully opened cabinets. Again, push it closed. It's gonna catch on both sides. This lighting underneath, it's gonna be blue, or if you hold the button down, it turns white. You have recessed lighting over the bed. I'll show you the different light switches on the other side in just a second. The wardrobe is on this side. Now you have a box here taking up about one third of the space on the bottom half because that gives you room for these shelves on the side. Everybody wants some place to put their glasses, their book, their phone, whatever it is that they're working with. So you've got two shelves and cubbies right here on the side. And in those, you have the control for the power fan, so you don't have to crawl up there and push the button. All remote controlled. And below that, a charging port with USBs and one tamp plugs. In here, you've got a hanging rod so you can hang clothes, you could work with any shelving, whatever works for you. And then, let's take a look. You've got shelving across the top, all the way down. Now this ridge is probably about, the, uh, about two inches deep, all the way through, with a little larger shelf on the end and recessed lighting at the top. And below it, right here. So, gosh, just a nice open look. You'll see on the bottom, I think it's important to note, there is a little ledge here, and that is where your Aldi heating is going to be coming from. These little openings right here. The radiant heat really heats anything, any RV, very evenly. So you will get great heat back here as well as in the front through those radiant openings. A little corner cabinet, so shelving on the top, one shelf in the middle, and another shelf about halfway down. Let's go around to the other side, because on the other side, you will find yet another 28 inch flat screen, another corner cabinet here, and another shelving on the top. Those pieces are identical on the 
on both sides. Of course, the TV is only on one side. You do have a plug right here behind the television. It also has USB ports in it. So if you had something you wanted to charge right here and set it up on the shelf, very easy to do. Let's look on this other side. The shelves on this side go all the way up. There's four shelves. It does have a little two inch lip on it here. Uh, again, you've got charging ports right up in the front, the 110 plug and the two USBs. This is going to be your lighted panel. Now, let's see, the backlight, I'll turn that on and off, just like the one up front. If you don't want to look at these blue lights when you're actually sleeping, you can turn them on and off. The top one is going to be the accent lighting in the bedroom. The next one is going to be the ceiling lighting right up here in the upper console the back lighting, and then these two bottom controls put lay the bed down or bring the head of the bed up. It's very simple, just hold the button down and adjust the bed to whatever works for you. Let's take a look at the storage under the bed. This has a gas prop on it. So I want to just tell you how easy it is to raise it up. Very simple. You have an aluminum frame, wood slats under the bed. Huge storage right here. This is a good time to mention, can you get a shot of the flooring over here? Because there is a step up on the right side of the bed. It's about a three or four inch step up where they have uh, probably some wiring underneath there. The radiant heat is gonna be coming out. But you do need to kind of step up on that ledge to move on the right side of the bed. Now on the other side of the bed, there is floor space, so it is a little more open over there. Good information to have. If you're looking for a true walk around bed, you certainly can get around this bed easily, but it is a little tighter on one side than the other. I know there is something I haven't told you about in here. There's so much to look at. It is just a beautiful coach. If we have a question that I haven't answered, please let us know. But right now we're gonna go outside and show you the beautiful exterior of this. Let's go. Okay, outside this beautiful trailer, first thing you'll notice is the lighting. I love the lighting. The LED lights up the step right here and your handle is lit up. Uh, this actually has a motion sensor on it, so it's gonna light up when it uh, sees the motion, so you can always be able to find the handle. Remember inside the door, there's a switch that lights up underneath here and in the back. All right. We also have the light on the awning lit up, so you can see that. Uh, it is a power awning, so stay tuned at the end. We'll show you how that looks when it's out. And let's just walk down this trailer and take a look. I love the aluminum wheels, 15-inch tires. You do have electric stabilizer jacks on all four corners. They are controlled in the front. We'll show you that when we get there. Do you remember the pass-through storage? That's right here. And of course, it has a light as well. The switch is right here. LED right in the middle, not on one side or the other. So you can see all the way through. And it has the magnetic catch when you open the door and the baggage latch. So it latches easily. No little turning the knobs. Now on the back side, you just got to take a minute to look at the style. Love the big window. It is standard with a backup camera. I love the styling of all the corner caps, the molding on the base. The Avia is just special. LED lighting, of course, on the taillights, as all the interior lighting is. It's all LEDs. Let's come around the side and look at where our hookups are. 
So the pass-through storage on this side is just the same as the other side. You've got the magnetic door, the baggage catch, the lights in the middle, as I said, so that makes it super easy. Right here is gonna be your sewer outlet connection. If you look under here, it might look a little different than you're used to. The connection is right here and to the right. You've got the gray and the black handles on the frame. They're not actually connected right to the hose. There is a standard outside shower right here with the handle and the black tank flush. So this is where you would hook up the hose if you wanted to run the water through your black tank when you're flushing it. Helps keep it super clean. Great thing to do if you have that option. The venting for the refrigerator is above the wheel right here and of course your shore power, your 30 amp connection. Satellite hookup if you happen to be at a campsite that has the, the satellite. Oh, it's tough to get that open. It's right here. This is the vent for the Aldi system. Remember that's your water heater and your radiant heat. The city water connections right here if you're hooking up directly to a hydrant and you are not um, filling your water tank, then you would hook up right here. If you wanted to fill that 43 gallon water tank, it is right next to it. So there is your water compartment. I love the way there's an LED light right here so you can see these connections right here very clearly, even in the evening. All right, a battery vent up here. Now, did I mention that this unit comes with two six volt batteries? Plenty of battery power, and that's because you've got 210 watts of solar. All of this standard on the Avia. All right, now walking around the front of this trailer, you don't need me to describe this. It is stunning. I love the Euro styling. I love how modern, how simple, and how functional it is up here. This big window and the skylight on top makes that dining area feel so open, but it also gives you so much style right here in the front of the trailer. All right, so this compartment is so easy. Just turn the latch. It has a gas prop on it, opens very easily. And in here, you will see two 30 gallon propane tanks with the automatic switch over. Now, right now they're not connected as you see, but uh, on the left, you've got the spare tire and on the right, some more storage. So easy, so accessible. The light actually has a switch on that side compartment. Just hit that switch and everything lights up under here. Easy to close, it's just a gas prop. Get that closed, twist it, you're good to go. LED lights on the side, that's gonna light up the tongue so you can see what you're doing up here. Now this is the SS 5.1 system on this tongue jack. You may not have seen it before, so let's take a look at it. It's got a nice locked cover that you open up. And on the left, it actually extends and retracts the tongue jack. Not unlike most electric jacks, right? But it will also control all of your stabilizer jacks on each corner, and they're all controlled separately. So if you're actually on a slant, one can go down further than another. Now, like most stabilizer jacks on a trailer, this really isn't made for total leveling, but it is simply made for stabilizing once you've got your trailer fairly level. There is an override right on the front, so if you need to crank the electric jack up and down, it's underneath this little pad right here on the right. And once you've got your trailer set up, you've got a lock right here where you can just lock it closed until you're ready to hook it back up again. Let's continue on. Although it's hard to leave the front of this trailer, it's gorgeous. The side is pretty stunning as well. You do have another compartment right here. Let's take a peek. This is gonna be the compartment that is on the side of the dinette. It has two accessible panels underneath the seating on this side of the dinette, but everything you can reach right here. Now this switch right here is the battery disconnect. So you can disconnect your battery if you wanna put it in storage. And there's a switch just above that 
which actually turns on the storage light in the front that where we had the propane tanks. So a lot of great features. Of course, it's got the magnetic catch like the rest and the baggage door slam latch. When you get back around to the door, the aluminum step that folds up so easily, it's not heavy, it's sturdy, just so many great features on this trailer. Um, let's take a look at the awning before we let you go so you can see what it looks like with the awning out. So this 16 foot awning is so easy. It is a standard power awning where just inside the door, I showed you the control, you push the button, the awning goes out automatically. It takes you three or four seconds. You'll use it all the time. So easy to put back in once you're ready to go. Just push the button and it goes right back in. The best part, you can actually hook it up to Bluetooth and do it with an app on your phone. Gotta love that. At the end of the day, this trailer is as strong as it is beautiful. It is actually an aluminum frame structure with Asdell paneling, and this exterior fiberglass is a Lamalux 4000 with a beautiful sheen that will last for years and years without any fade or oxidation. It is a beautiful trailer, well made. It has the new camp structure that we've come to know and love on it. I just know that there's something I haven't answered for you. I hope you'll comment below so that I can answer those for you. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you can see more walkthrough videos. We love bringing you all the new trailers that are out there. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Thank you for watching and take a look at the Avia in person. You will be impressed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.